Why did you decide to run Paris? Just because um, it fit well with my training program. Yeah, you know, this is my last 1500 before the games, so we thought it works well in terms of training and racing. Um, you know, trials are done out the way now, so it is fitted really well, and it's a, it's a fast track and it's a good field. So, yeah, it's a good place to be in Olympics. What are your plans for the next month? Uh, I'm going to go up to altitude um, in St Moritz, so I'm going to be training there for a good block, um, and I'll go straight from there to the village as well. So uh, I think one more race in there too. So yeah, it's a matter of just getting it, kind of that last little finish touch is done. Yeah. I mean, you're obviously pretty fit now. Yeah. What do you add in the next four weeks? It's just that kind of like I guess high end race intensity stuff. Yeah, like we've done a lot of aerobic stuff, a lot of the strength stuff, so we know that's all there. It's just sort of fine tuning those last little bits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Running against Faith, do you think you could take her to another world record? <laughs> I don't know if I'll take her, but um, yeah, I mean, you can't really have the night with Faith, and she ran incredibly well, you know, at the Kenyan trials not too long ago. So, um, yeah, I think, yeah, expect, expect the unexpected with her. You never know what's going to happen. So, um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, what is the challenge running against her in terms of trying to beat her, but yet. Um, being in the right place. Yeah, that's it. I think it's just gauging your race and having your own race plan. Um, I knew if I went out as fast as she does, I don't think I'd fare too well. So I think it's just having your own race plan when others have their own as well. And it's just kind of playing to your strengths best you can. Yeah.